Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt Schmidt and I guide people to heal themselves. Um, in this video, we're going to be discussing how healing occurs on a quantum level. Um, a lot of times I get these, um, these people like discussing how healing occurred and it seems almost miraculous, um, like, it's, like it's impossible. And if we look through the lens of classical physics, it, it would be impossible or improbable. Um, but some of this stuff is possible because of the quantum aspect of what we do. So I'm going to do my best to explain this uh, without using any mathematical equations or any like over the head quantum physics, but basically how I understand things as of today. <laughs> so I encourage you to share uh, your thoughts on this process because I'm still figuring out. I ask lots of questions, how this is possible, how this is occurring. Um, and so I'll do my best to explain it without trying to, without losing a bunch of you. So, um, first I'll give you a couple examples. Uh, some of the things that I've seen with people that I've worked with, I've had people, um, as some of you know, I have had people regrow organs that have been surgically removed. I've had people move their bones back into place after accidents. I've had people, um, dissolve metal pins and screws in, uh, their bones where, uh, things were restructured and stuff like that with or held together with those um, that metal framework and uh, People have replaced cartilage in their knee in a week stuff that medically um, physically biologically Seems impossible like how the heck is this possible and some of this stuff is fast like I mean, we're talking about like in a week time frame like that doesn't happen especially with like Especially with the metal pins and screws are using like high grade titanium and stuff like that. Like it just doesn't go away. Um, but in the quantum world, all this stuff is possible. And basically that's the quantum aspect of this. All things are possible. Um, the way that I see these healings occurring is um, first you have to understand that there's an infinite number of versions of you that exist simultaneously. Uh, maybe kind of hard to wrap your mind around, but there's a version of you that is all these different things and it 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 um it falls in a spectrum where everything is possible um there's a version of you that's in jail right now there's a version of you that's a millionaire there's a version of you that has no physical ailments um so basically what we're doing in this process is um it's kind of like a radio station so the one that you're tuned into the version of you that you're aligned with is the version that you'll experience so in quantum healing, we're basically changing that dial and aligning you with the different version of yourself. And that's how these, all the metal pins and screws and everything can go away. Um, they don't dissolve, they don't go away, but you shift to that version of you where that version of you didn't even have that. So it, it appears that these things are miraculous. Um, I mean, they're still amazing, don't get me wrong, but um, in terms of like uh, classical physics and stuff, this wouldn't even be possible. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight as how did how this thing works. Um, so just like anything, it doesn't have to be physical healing, but um, you want to, if you want to experience a certain reality, you want to experience a certain version of you, um, start doing things that align with that version of you that you want and the rest of you will shift. Um, basically when you start to align with those things, they get put in your subconscious mind and your conscious mind ends up creating those things. So, and experiencing those things. So with anything, align with the version of you that you want. If you don't know where to start, um, find someone that's doing what you want and emulate some of their behaviors. And because what they're doing is has aligned them with a certain experience. And by doing that, you can, you can start shifting your experience and your reality to experience something similar to what they're experiencing. So um, hopefully this helps you understand a little bit. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. I try to keep it simple and do my best to explain this, but, and I'm still learning and growing and figuring this stuff out. It's, it's fascinating, but yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts and we'll see you on the next video.